so we'll be looking at um, the, uh, this little mini series is going to be called Apocalypse Now, and we're going to be looking at different aspects of the the end times of the apocalypse and that kind of stuff because people have kind of gotten a little bit uh, fatalistic, a little bit um, one sided, overly focused on the end times. And twenty twenty has caused people to just kind of see the apocalypse behind like every rock and stuff and uh, people are saying things that, that they really don't understand what they're saying so specifically we're going to look today at the mark of the beast and we'll probably come back to this um at least once um so if 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 you've been listening or maybe you're one of these people you, you've probably been hearing people talk about you know the vaccine the covid vaccine or various covid conspiracies um different things about the mark of the beast and um there's a lot of uh, christian organizations that have kind of excuse me have kind of gone to kind of a, a dark place talking about you know um how they're um you know subduing us to give us all the microchip and all this stuff and just a lot of a lot of stuff out there so let's kind of put some of this in context though okay um that guys anyway, it was, uh, during the time of the pro uh, you know the, the what's it called when Protestant movement first started going uh, the great awakening uh, no, no 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 that's not what it's called um reformation ah oh, during the time um the pope was the antichrist because you know I guess conspiracy theories have always been a favorite topic of uh, the Christian church, maybe. Um, or, you know, phones came out. Cell phones, when first cell phones first came out. Well, cell phones were the mark of the beast because you hold them in your hand and you put them, whatever. Um, you know, when wristwatches came out, that was somehow the mark of the beast. When when microchips first came out, oh, it's gonna, the micro, mark of the beast is going to be a microchip that you get injected. It's always been whatever is going on. That is the mark of the beast. It, it, it's always been like that. And so people keep trying to keep finding the mark of the beast literally under like every, every, you know, rock behind every door. This is everywhere. And it's like, and definitely some, some books and movies really haven't helped like left behind, for instance. It's it's one of those unfortunate things where everybody has an opinion of, but nobody actually stops to think. Well, hold on, what exactly did the Bible say again? And it's, it's kind of really preoccupied with the idea of the apocalypse, anyways. Like um, everything that happens, even if it's a normal occurrence, people say, "Well, twenty twenty strikes again." Uh, it, it's like, it's, it's like, it's fated to happen because 2020 is like the year of destruction or something. Uh, it's like the anti-word of faith. You know how word of faith people are always saying like, this is the year of your favor and all this stuff. Well, it's like the exact opposite is happening. This is the year of destruction and stuff. And it's like, well, it, it's not that, it's not that God can't bring judgment. That's not what I'm saying at all. But there's some people who think that every time that something bad happens, bringing judgment and that's just not biblical um although we do see in the bible if there was a specific bad situation where you know it was from god and then the prophet says hey yes this is from god but the idea that every single time that anything happens i mean you see it in our movies for instance you know there's a bunch of zombie movies that come out a bunch of stuff like that and it's like oh bad news bad news bad news so so people have gotten this kind of idea that that uh, they start seeing, they start seeing the apocalypse everywhere. They start seeing the end times everywhere. They start seeing the antichrist everywhere, the mark of the beast everywhere, and it's just not overly healthy. Uh, it's like we become extremely superstitious, you know. And and I think that sometimes it's kind of hurting um, our faith. We're kind of just um, getting to a place where we don't really want to even listen to the possibility that we might be, you know, rushing to this. Um, the Mark of the Beast um, is mentioned in the book of Revelations a couple times. And I believe that's the only book that mentions it. Um, and it mentions it, I think, three or four times in the book. Uh, here's the thing, though. 
the Bible mentions a lot more the mark that um, that God's people uh, get that is on their foreheads and on their wrists. It mentions this, um, first off, it's, it's first mentioned in the book of the law, where it says, hey, the, the the things that have the have the um, the scriptures uh, on your tassels and all that stuff. Um, so there's there's the first kind of it, but that's not really as it result revolves to end times though. Then the prophets start talking about it, and it talks about you know hey put a mark on the foreheads of all my people who 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 don't do this and all that. And then you get to even I believe it's even in the book of Revelations where it talks about um, God's people. Um, having a mark on them. And here's here's the question, okay? So the mark of God's people is actually mentioned more than the mark of the beast. And nobody thinks that that mark is literal. Nobody thinks that the mark that the mark that God's mark on his people is literal. So why is it literal for the mark of the beast? This is well, like I said, we're gonna come back to this, but this is just something we're thinking about. So we have all these different theories, COVID conspiracies and all these things about the mark of the beast. And the mark of God's people, which occurs more often, is not literal. And, you know, we have all these, like, we don't have any conspiracy theories for that. We're thinking about it. So we're going to come back to this next week and kind of look at this a little bit more. And... Uh, hopefully give a little bit more clarity to the idea of the mark of the beast. I just want to give give you guys something to think about for the next week. Um, have a great week. Stay warm from this cold. My wife got a pumpkin chai thing at Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know what it is. It's in such a hurry for fall, I guess. <laughs> See you guys.